the worst, most embarrassing thing for me to do is number two in the bathroom at the office. I'm in a tight situation. I need to use the bathroom. Boom, zoom, I'm gone. I'm handling my business. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm a second. I mean, it's not a big deal. Everybody poops. We're talking about your body's biggest itches and smells today. And let's face it, we've all experienced an embarrassing situation oh, before. Man. I, oh, man. But, but the question here is why does poo smell in the first place? It gets back to the bacteria. <clears throat> when you eat a meal, it obviously goes down your esophagus into your stomach. Then it goes through your small intestines. And your small intestines, which you'll see all compacted in here, that's where most of the absorption of your nutrients takes place. And transit time, it really depends. A few hours maybe in the stomach, then it's going through the small intestines. The smells come from whatever isn't digested. Everything that ends up down here in your colon, well, the bacteria go to work on that, and they, like we mentioned before, emit gases. And if those gases happen to be the smelly ones, like sulfur, it smells not so good. And you can imagine some foods, especially really greasy, fatty foods, that transit time could be up to 75 hours. So imagine if you left a steak sitting outside for four days. How's that yeah. going to smell? Nasty. And it's going to smell nasty because the bacteria get going on it. Mm -hmm. And the last thing you want is that steak smell coming out at the bottom. Gabriel from New Haven, Connecticut, wrote us an interesting email. We wanted to address this. He writes, hi, doctors. My wife freaks out when I go number two and allow the smell to linger. She's adamant about using air fresheners, but I hate the way they smell. I always tell her it's healthier to smell the poop aroma rather than inhaling all those chemicals. <clears throat> Am I right? Oh, well, well, Gabriel is right to a certain extent because most commercial grade air, air fresheners, I mean, they're containing a list of things that can be really irritating to your airway, especially if you have asthma, bronchitis, mm -hmm. other types of allergies. I mean, they, they contain things like butane, ethanol, benzene, acetone, formaldehyde. I mean, those are some pretty toxic things. Yeah, but you're telling the wife things. that she's got to stay in the sink. Well, and it's like, well, I mean, if it's your worse. own, it's well, like it's fine to right. roll around couple in your own other smell, things. How like, about ugh. How about investing in a fan? Uh, That's a, a good one, but okay. I'm... How about again, opening a window? Match. This, match, it, I it, like... In the, the side trip. of the wife, I think you're absolutely right. But a match, sometimes people will say, you know, if you inhale the sulfur right. a lot, then it's going to cause a lot of problems. But hey, that sulfur smell that's coming out of the, the stink, I think it might be better to light a match or even better light a candle. Well, what I do, I like the match, drop it and just run. And run? <laughs> that <laughs> you're, way, that you're a way drive I'm not, by I'm stink not... bomb kind of guy? <laughs> no, or light a candle or, yeah, just like you said, open a window, guys. Just open mm -hmm. a window. <clears throat> you can also buy, um, you know, those certain filters, the air filters. Mm -hmm. that have the, the carbon, so they're much better but for these you. things are designed, you don't, a little bit goes a long way. So just mm -hmm. a little I, spray, I, and then if you're not, if, if you're sensitive about how toxic they are, there are more natural products that just contain something citrus that isn't that bad for you. You can Try do the that. essential oils, and mm -hmm. actually okay. you can put a little, on a little cotton ball, you can put essential oils, and that'll, you know, make the smell go away. It's kind of a natural, yeah, it's kind of a natural air pressure. Well, she well, should because she's <laughs> surrounded by men. Yeah, I had something like my, my son, you know, when he was little, those things, yeah, and my husband too. Yeah, between the two of them, my God. But you can also, they also have those natural little wood sticks, um, you know, that you can put in the essential oils, oh, and yeah, that's and a good air for, the and they wick it out as well. But if you can't do that, then the cotton Funny balls. Funny story. You guys, I, and before we go to break, I have to acknowledge that that's something being used in some emergency rooms now because... If they're non-toxic, it can improve the smell greatly yep. without risking irritating your lungs. So yeah. mm -hmm. get rid of the smell, but just do it in a safe way. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. And don't light the match too close to the fumes. Yeah. Yeah. That's natural. <laughs>